being on YouTube and acting, you can try out for News Crew. The applications are on Mrs. Bennett's door next to the nurse's office. Bye! Meet you there! My name is Sebastian. Um, I film a lot of the videos for News Crew. I've been in News Crew for about almost three years. And my favorite animal would be a jellyfish. Pomegranate night is tonight. Look, don't forget the money helps us support for our school. What flavor ice cream are you going to get? I think French vanilla or cake batter. What toppings are you going to get? Maybe cookie dough bites or M&M's. Oh, that sounds so good. I'll see you there. Bye. Bye. Good morning, Dr. Neurand. Good morning, Dr. Cerebella. Good morning to all of you. Good morning. Or good afternoon, whatever time of day it might be for you. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, we are, this is sad news, Dr. Neuron. Oh. This is our very last Growth Mindset book of the year. That is sad. The last one. We've worked all year reading wonderful books that help us learn about growth mindset and how our brains work. And we are down to the last one. But the kids have done great. And the teachers have done a great job too True. at implementing and teaching and learning about growth mindset. Yeah. So this book here, who is written by one of my favorite authors. I like him too. Yeah, Peter Reynolds. Uh, it's called Ish. It's a great book. Ish. I say it a lot, boys and girls. <laughs> you do. <laughs> I say ish a lot. You know, what time is it? It's four-ish. Yeah, that's okay. Yep. Uh, what time are you going to get home? Five-ish. Yeah. Ish. Kind of describes when we don't really know everything or it's close mm -hmm. to what we want it to be. Doesn't have to be perfect. No, absolutely not. And so this story is about uh, a girl who thinks things need to be perfect mm -hmm. and she learns with growth mindset that ish is okay. Ish is great, actually. Yeah. Ish is a great way to start. And I'm thinking about the end of this school year and all of the learning our students have done this year and I feel like I even know more about growth mindset ish. Absolutely. Me too. I feel like I still have a lot more to learn and I've started that journey with the boys and girls and teachers at this school mm -hmm. and I think next year we're going to continue with our growth mindset and learning some more. That would be great. Yeah. So to help us with that we need your help. Yes, we do. We would love to hear from anybody here at our school. Kids, adults, whoever it is. We want to know what have you learned about growth mindset this year. What is your ish? They've learned a lot. Everybody has learned a lot. They've, I've learned a lot. We, we really have. So if you have something that you would like to share with us, and then we would like to share it with everybody, write it down. Put it on a piece of paper, a sticky note, a napkin, whatever it is, write down what you've learned. But make sure it has your name and your teacher's name. Yes. In case we need to find you and interview you <gasps> for our brain research, oh. we need to know where to find you. Very cool. Yep. Yeah. So if you have something you'd like to share that you have learned this year, write it down somewhere and get it to the office. They'll find it for Dr. Sarah Bellum and yes. Dr. Neuron. They'll yes. find they'll find where it needs to go. Yes, it'll get to us. Yep, yeah. absolutely. And we'll see you, uh, I think, in a couple weeks. We're, we're going to come back on the news again. Yes. Before the summer. We will. All right. Have, have a great day. Have a great day. Morning, afternoon. Ish. Ish. <laughs> Somebody ever does this to you, always go to the body bench. Need a friend, then have a seat. The body bench is for you. This is the body bench. This is where you sit when you need a friend. Hey Nate, you want to play with me? Sure. Then watch the sea. The body bench is for you. Hey kids. Next week is Teachers Appreciation Week, and it's for all teachers. And you can get your information from the PTO. 
take a seat. Right over there, bottoms and chairs, please just breathe. The booklets are out and I'm flipping out that we have to take this big test. I am so stressed and you know we have studied our hardest. So breathe it in and then you can breathe it out. Breathing helps our brains calm so we can do our best. Oh, teacher, why did you just put me in this test lab? I'm losing my mind just a little. Why do we have to fill in all these bubbles? All these bubbles. Teacher, why did you just put me in this test lab? I'm losing my mind just a little. Why do we have to fill in all these bubbles? All these bubbles. Time for a break. Break, break for a minute. Halfway through, but not done yet. Time to work. Pencils are breaking. Now we have to finish this test. A little less stress. Now we have really studied our hardest. So breathe again, and then you can get right through. Breathing helps our brains calm so we can do our best. Oh, oh, oh teacher, why did you just put me in this test lab? I'm losing my mind just a little. Why do we have to fill in all these bubbles? All these bubbles. Almost done now with this test. Just giving it my best now. I can see the end now. And it's not as bad as I thought. Just needed to get started. Just breathe and we can finish. Oh, teacher, you just put me in this test lab. I'm losing my mind just a little. So why do we have to fill in all these bubbles? All these bubbles. Teacher, why did you just put me in this Tesla? 